Okay, well they say that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think that's right. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, I think that's right. I could only get 50 items, so I haven't... It's just been a hot mess this week, my groceries. Okay, I'm accidentally meal prepping. Okay, here's my lunch today. Here's my doggy. But I did. I did. I went and fixed something that wasn't broken. Anyway, uh, anyway, 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 anyway. And here it is. Da, 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 da. You know, when you're a busy mum, busy, overscheduled, working mum, you don't need things to be fancy schmancy. You just need to get the job done. Hey Zesties, I'm Michelle Boyle and welcome or welcome back to my channel Zesty Girl. Today's video is organizing my week. Grocery haul, meal plan and meal prep. So if you want to see this video, pretty much me getting organized for the week as far as food goes for my family of six, then let's do this. Okay, well they say that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I did. I did. I went and fixed something that wasn't broken. So I think I've talked about it a lot in the last few weeks or a lot since I got back YouTubing more regularly. I got, I came on and told you that since my work's changed, I needed new systems, I needed new organization. I've put all of that into place now. And I had a grocery shopping system that was working. Mwah. It was Thursday night. I would go to the grocery, oh, first of all, I would place an online grocery haul with all the specials for the week and just figure it all out based on what I had on hand here. And then I would go to the grocery shop and just because I really enjoy grocery shopping, but I wouldn't need to get everything because I had my online order to do all the bulk stuff. So I could just go and enjoy myself, pick up a few specials, pick up a few things that I needed for the next few days, if I did, and see anything that stood out that I feel like, oh, I would really want to cook that this week and get my creativity going. So that was working really well. Then I'd come home, deduct those items from my online grocery shop and book it for the weekend. So book the groceries to come over the weekend, all ready for meal prep. So I don't know what happened this weekend. I don't know what happened, but I was did my online shop and then I didn't go to the store till Saturday. And then I was in a hurry and I didn't get what I needed. And then by the time I went back to my online shop, basically half the things that I had on my list were out of stock. So let me share with you these grocery hauls. I'm very honest about it as I'm going through what a mess I'm in. And then I'll share with you my meal plan. Uh, no, yes, my meal plan and my meal prep. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so I've just been at the shops and done my special look around and shop for what I can see and what I need. And Jessica's just making her lunch in the background. And she's scrunching. Anyway, uh, anyway, 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 uh, what am I saying about this? So yes, so I've got an online order coming later on today. But this is what I've just grabbed that I saw, that I wanted now. We needed something for brunch. And so yeah, so this is it. This is what I grabbed. Let me show you. So the idea was to have bacon and eggs for brunch. So that was the bacon. Obviously we haven't, but... I'll tell you about that as we go along. So that was the bacon. I got some sausages. I'll tell you what happened. So my online order, which I prepared the other day, when I went to book it in, there was all these items that I wanted, which suddenly were out of stock. So I thought, oh, now I've got to go and get them myself. So that was a bit, yeah, it was a bit annoying. No, it was actually really annoying. So what I've decided to do is make sure I don't procrastinate and just when I do the order, just throw it through. So that should prevent that. But anyway, so the sausages were out of stock. So I've just grabbed those eggs as well. So I grabbed those. I got some kimchi because I saw it and we've just run out. These mandarins, they're seedless. So, and they were on markdown. And so I just grabbed them because the children just, the kids just love seedless mandarins. I got a loaf of the sourdough bread, some shredded cheese, which was on my online order, but had run out of stock. Mushrooms, I was going to have mushrooms for brunch as well. Got some carrots, got some Thai style salad kits. And when I got home, I got three of these. They're on markdown, so I said to Jess, hey, do you want this for lunch? And she went, yeah, let's have that. So we're going to eat these big salads. And so that's why we're not having brunch, but I'll tell you about the others as we move along. I got a nice ripe avocado. It was $3, quite expensive, but worth it, I tell you. We're going to eat that very shortly, and it'll be so worth it. This chocolate was on special this week, and that was another thing that was cancelled off my order, so I grabbed it. Gluten-free food for Lucas. 
because he's out and about so much with work and with the university and everything, he just sometimes needs food on hand. Like he gets home at 3 a.m. from work sometimes. So yes, 3 a.m. So it's really good for me to have things that he can just pop in the air fryer. So I grabbed him these and I grabbed him a gluten-free pizza and I grabbed him, <laughs> and I grabbed him some gluten-free pies which have disappeared. So, oh no, they're over there. Okay. Now, noodles were one of those specials that you get extra points for, and the boys really love having these on hand for the same reason, if they're in and out from uni. As I always say, this is not real food, but the boys seem to love to have these on hand, love to carry these in their backpacks, so I grabbed some more, and this is the gluten-free version here. Okay, Tom was with me. My youngest was with me, and I don't know if that was a good idea because I ended up buying heaps of extra things. I'll show you in a minute. So we got this barbecue meat lovers pizza and underneath is the gluten-free pizza which also had been taken off my shopping list. Cream for my husband just because he's run out and he wanted some for his coffee and big toilet rolls. This was taken off my list too which is the blood orange mango uh, Schweppes sparkling water as well as this. So I grabbed that. I just got some uh, frozen br br blah, 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 blah. I just got some frozen broccoli fl florets uh, because I saw them so I just grabbed them the ham had been taken off so I grabbed the ham gluten-free pies I just I'm not sure if I'm gonna get my shopping today or for tomorrow or tomorrow now because I've grabbed quite a lot when I was out so I might put the order through for tomorrow once I take off the bits and pieces that I got today so I grabbed chicken and mince to do some meal prep this afternoon Okay, uh, Tom, Tom's tom been at basketball, Tom goes to the basketball court most nights and he's fallen on his knees and scraped them, so we got some plasters for him. I got some, I got some light bulbs because we need them. Now, Rexona was on sale, this was taken off my list as well, so I grabbed two of those. I grabbed this because I saw it, that's why I like to go in store. Stuff that matters, new deodorant, it was on special as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to dye my hair today. I really want to, but if not, I'm going to be using this because it's looking a hot mess. Because Tom was with me, he asked if we could get these hair products, so I said sure. So these were both like half price, I think. So we grabbed those. He also wanted this, so we grabbed that. He also wanted these, so we grabbed that. And yes, Ellie's dog food, some avocados, some bananas, berries, apples, and, and I have to say, this is like my secret indulgent, but don't tell anyone. Okay, so that as well. And that's everything. That is everything. So now I'm going upstairs to adjust my online order. And yeah, my shopping, my whole shopping thing that I had so organized, my whole shopping system, I didn't follow it this week and I've ended up in a bit of a mess. So there we go. Don't break something. Was it? Don't try and fix something that's not broken. So I'm off to have lunch. Okay, here's my lunch today. Here's my doggy. Actually, you're out of focus. You're out of focus. Okay, so here's my lunch today. It is the Asian salad kit with feta that I've added in, kimchi that I've added in, and avocado that I've added in. And it's huge, and I'm just going to go and eat it. Okay, so it's Sunday night and the rest of my groceries have just turned up and I left it a bit late so I could only get 50 items. So I haven't, it's just been a hot mess this week, my groceries. I messed with my system and it's really stuffed things up, but still I'm on budget and I'm pretty sure, based on my meal plan, that I can get through this week. And I may have to pick up a few things, but I've sort of still got $100 to spend based on my budget, which is really flexible, but anyway, I'm, I try to just stick to one just because I think it's just good a good idea, good financial idea. Okay, right, where am I at? Okay, so over here, I just grabbed these for the boys. These two boxes of muesli bars are awesome. I got some chicken drumsticks. I got some, two lots of meatballs. We loved our meatballs last week. I got some pork chops see in this light pork chops uh, beetroot fresh beetroot two lots of two lots of curry paste green curry paste 
this is not this is not what I ordered, but this is what I got. So I got uh, two lots of Yoplait yogurts, but I actually ordered something else. That's fine. That will do. My washing powder, and I got some uh, fabric softener. I got some Solo. The boys have taken off with the first one. This is the this is a Solo with mango. Boys just love it. Huge uh, tin of coffee. For my pantry, I got some more coconut cream, some more diced tomatoes. I got peaches. These run special this week, the Lego. So I got the Napolitana. Two lots of cabanara. Two lots of cabanara. And two lots of buttercream from Sherwoods, which was also on special. So you know what that means? It means quick and easy meal prep. Super quick and easy meal prep. I'm just going to throw heaps of veg into there. Add the meat in and make it really, really super easy. Really, really, really easy for this week because because this overextended mum has a lot on this week. So that's going to really suit me just having those sauces on hand. Whereas, as you know, I like to usually make them from scratch. From scratch. Okay, so I also have these two sauces as well. Two pasta sauces. I grabbed that dip again. The boys loved it. Uh, conditioner. Yes, Pantene conditioner. I also bought the shampoo, but somehow I didn't actually manage to keep it on the order. I must have deleted it by accident. Talked about that. Salami, some salsa, some spaghetti gluten-free. Sorry, the lighting's really bad. Spaghetti, glu <laughs> spaghetti gluten-free to go with the meatballs. Okay, so yes, this is because I suspected I wasn't going to get my hair dyed this weekend, and I haven't, so I'm going to need to cover up the grey with this. Actually, I feel like I, no, I feel like I talked about that before. It's still on the table. Forget about that. Uh, two heads of broccoli, some gum, some pies for the freezer for the boys. Gluten-free wheat bix. I got my favourite, 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 favourite mascara. Does anyone else love this mascara? It's amazing. Now, I actually ordered Neutrogena Hydrating Foam Cleanser, which is my favourite in the whole world. And they replaced it with this one. So I'm a little bit upset about that. But anyway, this should be okay. And I'll still try and get my favourite one because I just love it. Love it to the moon and back. Yes, I do. Okay, so bread, I got two lots of this one, the one, the super one, and normal and gluten-free. And I can't live without my pineapple water. I say to the children, if it's got the yellow lids, it's mum's. I'm obsessed with this water. I drink, pretty much drink a bottle of it every night. So there. So that's it. Just my latest passion. Not really passion, my latest obsession. So I'm going to put all this away and see where things end up. If I need to do another order, I will. But yeah, it's just like, just has turned out a little bit of a hot mess this week. But that's fine. That's fine. There is a system. There is a routine. I've just got to stick to it. That's the, that's the thing. So I'm just interrupting this video to say to you, for those of you who are new here, my name is Michelle. This channel is basically me living my very real zesty life, encouraging you to live yours. What's that about? It's about productivity, it's about organisation, it's about fun. Zesty, fun. It's about sharing. I'm mum to a family of six. I have older kids now, sort of teenage young adults, all still living at home. I've just changed the work that I do. I am now out in the community helping busy, overscheduled mums basically helping them to be able to have in their weekends and in their downtime, guilt-free family time, uh, time for their hobbies, time for their passions and me time. So I'm out there helping women declutter, get organized, run systems in the home and basically helping them with their families. Just like what I needed 10, 15 years ago. That's what I'm out doing now, sharing all my experience. And as a health coach, as a life coach and as a professional organizer and as mum to four kids i'm sharing all my experiences as well and i love it so if you're interested in this i do have a free facebook group and i will run some content here but i in the free facebook group it's just a community of women who are interested in organizing their lives more for those reasons that i just discussed and so you're very welcome i'll leave the links down below we'd love to have you join us so yeah if that sounds like you we run challenges we run polls about how we feel about things we share memes we share what we're doing it's just it's just a fun community so if that sounds like you come across and join us i'd love to have you there okay back to the video
Okay, so last week I was going to share meal prep with you, but I didn't get around to it. So here is some of the meals that I created. So this was roast pork with a Caesar salad, tomato, and some roast potatoes. And it doesn't look very nice here, but it was really, really nice. So I did cook this whole leg of pork, and that lasted for quite a while. Okay, the next night was meatballs and spaghetti. This is my son's one. He covered it in cheese and then melted it in the microwave. And this is my one here with some nuts, some feta, some avocado, meatballs, and salad. Then the boys had some chicken keeves one night with broccoli, beetroot, avocado, and tomato. I think I had them as well. Yeah, I think I did. They're really, really delicious. And then the next night, I haven't actually got any footage of that, the boys cooked pasta bake for me because I was running late from work. And then we also had, what else did we have? I think we had nachos one night as well. That was another night I was running late from work. And then we had this, which is our have every week green chicken curry. So we had that as well. And of course, I'm going to make that this week as well. But it's so delicious and all of us love it. So yeah. Okay, so let's move on to this week and some serious, not so serious, some very lazy meal prep. Okay, I'm accidentally meal prepping. I got talking to Jess and then we had some bananas that need to be eaten. So we just made some banana muffins. She's doing the thing there. She's just got back from just got back from a rehearsal, a ballet rehearsal. A full day of rehearsals. A full day of rehearsals. And so she's making the muffins. I'm making pizza here. I'm also cooking sausages. I'm also cooking chicken legs. I'm also cooking pasta. So we'll sort of show you bits and pieces as I move as I as I what? As I move along. Okay, so we have some Okay, so we have some pasta here, and I was just had this good idea because the sausages are cooked. Let me show you the sausages. Okay, well half the sausages are cooked because there was a lot more than that. I'm thinking for the boys, I'm thinking I'm going to cut these sausages up, add them with the pasta, and then make a cabanara with the sausages. Does that sound really weird? I don't know. I think I'm going to do it though. I'll show you the sauce. Here it is. I told you this week was about convenience, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to put this into... The pan and I'm going to heat it up and I'm going to add some sausages which are already cooked and I'm going to add the pasta in and make a pasta bake. Yes. Okay, I am splushing up the wall as per, as per normal. But anyway, that's looking great. I've added spinach in and I'm going to, this is pretty much all it needs. The, the pasta's cooked so I'm just going to combine it and yeah. Yum, look at the pizza. It looks so good. Okay, so here's the beef mince. I just added some pasta sauce, this one, two lots of that, it's a kilo of beef mince and I'm just going to add some spinach and I've been splushing. So I'm just cutting up the chicken, I've cut up most of the chicken and I'm just going to make chicken curry. Okay so this time I've just made some penne to go with the mince and oops, it's a bit smoky and I'm just doing the chicken with the curry. And the curry I'm using is this one. Okay, so the chicken curry is coming along nicely. I burnt the muffins a little bit because I had the wrong setting on the oven. Because I had it on for the pizzas. So anyway, they're okay. But it's a little bit burnt. Not a little bit burnt, just a little bit over brown on the top, unfortunately. But they're still fine. And now, and now I'm just cooking up the last bit of the chicken. And I'm just gonna and I'm just gonna make uh, another curry, but just a really quick instant curry. Okay, so this is the laziest meal prep because I I didn't cut the chicken very small. I've just thrown in a bag of these, and look how big they are. So it doesn't really matter. We'll figure it out. And the same in here. I've added a bag, another bag in there. So in there is cauliflower and broccoli as well. So it's totally lazy meal prep. I haven't got time to worry too much about it, but I'm telling you it's coming together so fast and it's going to be so delicious and it's going to do the job. I'm telling you, it will do the job. And then for this one, we're going to use two lots of this, which is the butter chicken. Sharwoods was on special this week and summer sauce is just going straight in. Okay, so I've been putting my knife in here and slicing up the broccoli so it's smaller, turning out gorgeous. And then finally over on this side, is uh, tofu and carrot and well, this is made with fresh vegetables so fresh broccoli and carrot and tofu in this let's see, this uh, red curry Thai red curry sauce 
and with coconut cream. So this will be for Jess. I probably eat this as well. Jess and I will share this one. Yum. Okay, and I've finished, and here it is. Da, 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 da. Everyone's hanging around because the boys want this. They want to get, they want to tuck straight into this. But I'm saying that there's so many other options. So let me just show you quickly. So I'm going to go upstairs. No, up, not upstairs. I'm going to go up high in the chair here. Get a bird's eye view of it. So all this took about an hour and a half, I think, all up. But I was just relaxing and enjoying it because I really do like meal prepping. So we have two gluten-free pizzas, some sausages, some chicken drumsticks. We have the cabanara with sausage and spinach. And we have two lots of beef pasta bake with tomato, garlic, onion, spinach, that sort of thing. Tofu carrot and broccoli curry, red curry. Chicken and broccoli green curry. Uh, broccoli and chicken butter curry. But no, not butter curry, butter chicken. Butter chicken curry. And some rice. So what we're going to do, or not what we're going to do. So I'll let the, the family choose what they want for dinner. And then I might actually, before, just for room in the fridge and because this looks a bit splushy I might pack these into meal prep containers glass containers ready for people to take and go with them in the morning for lunches and things so that's probably what I'm going to do next okay and here is the fridge with everything packed away it actually did all fit so that's good okay so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel I'd love to have you here and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See ya. Bye.